Those whoops wear me out. Yes. <sighs> the gravel is what wears me out. Yeah. That gravel is so sketchy, man. <sighs> Thanks for tagging along today. This is going to be trail 650, like I've already mentioned. This trail kind of connects the trail system in the Rainbow Falls area to the trail system up in the Rampart Range area where the majority of the dirt bike and ATV trails are. Uh, it's a fun trail, fast, flowy. I should have been riding a lot faster, but um, as we've already established, I am probably the slowest dirt biker on YouTube. Uh, it was also super loose and dry that day, uh, which always slows me down because the gravel kind of sketches me out. But um, as always, you know, click that like and subscribe button or don't. But uh, I'm glad you're watching this one. Drop a comment. Let me know how slow I am. And um, thanks for tagging along. Man, it is so dry and loose today. I mean, I don't know what I expected. Because we haven't had any moisture in dang, a couple weeks. I much prefer going uphill than I do down. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, these long uphills are so fun. And then you gotta remember, you also have to come down from them. But I'm getting better at the downhills. But I really love the uphills. Just one more. <sighs> what do you think? I like that. I fell once. Yeah, did you? I almost did big time. <laughs> oh, I almost did a few times, but it was sharp left and I did not go left. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool, we have this fun trail.
Rock, 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 rocks! We got little rocks. We got big rocks. We got a little bit of teeny tiny rocks. We got all the rocks you could ever want. All for the one little price of a broken clavicle. I had to bail. <laughs> All right. Good. Sorry, I didn't choose a very good line through there. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't either. I've got to get better about hopping up onto my feet. Do you ever forget what gear you're in? I've been riding motorcycles long enough. And I guess that I don't care, that I just kind of figure it out. But I should probably like, no, like, oh, the bike's going this fast. Sounding like this. I'm in this gear. I should know that, but I don't. I'm starting to view rocks, not as the enemy, but as the friend. how one ride can increase like your skill and your confidence in one area like like by a lot it's like you know I've mentioned in older previous videos you know I'm making my return to riding learning to ride in Colorado so like all these things that you see really good riders do on the rocks I'm like dude I want to be able to do that stuff but you know I'm still new I'm still learning so that little rock section just you know two months ago would have really sketched me out and I would have struggled on it we rode Poplar Gulch here a couple weeks ago we didn't get all the way up because there was about a mile up the trail the trail was solid ice and so it's like not going here anyway 
Papa Gulch, that first mile is rocky. It's super rocky and switchbacky. You know, there's that first mile. There's four or five pretty tight technical switchbacks with all the rocks. You know, and I was like, you know what, F it, I'm doing it. I'm just going to tack it. And I did, and I learned a lot. And then this ride, I can already feel some of that translating to this ride. This is super cool looking.